Hey, in this video, I'll show you how to use dynamic groups in Rank Tracker. This is a handy feature that you can use for a better organization and understanding of your keywords. So until now, we were using the static groups, which are the basic groups that are tied to different search engines. We can easily move these groups, and we can move the URLs from one group to another by drag and dropping them, but it has to be the same group type, so it has to be tracking the same search engine. Now I will explain some cool use cases for the dynamic groups and demonstrate how you can take advantage of them. So I will click Add Group, choose Dynamic Group, and I'll name it Top 10 Rankings. And basically what I want to do here is to tell Rank Tracker to show me all keywords that I'm tracking in my account that have rankings lower than the number 10, so they are ranking on the first page. This is something I can easily achieve with these dynamic groups by adding a criteria with position that is lower than 10. This criteria would currently match 22 URLs with 75 keywords, and if I save this, I would see all keywords that are ranking on the top 10 results. Additionally, I could add more conditions to the group. Let's set search volume global bigger than 30, and this would add some additional filtering to the keywords. I will save this group. Now, here we can see all the keywords across my account that are matching this criteria. So we're on the first page of Google, and search volume is greater than 30 searches on a monthly basis. This is a very powerful way to automatically filter out the keywords with Rank Tracker that have certain properties and need our attention.